Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Damn Fancy Creations, and today I am going to show you guys how to do a Christmas theme lighted tumblers with no wire showing and no bumpy spots on the tumbler. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. So the main thing I get asked is where does the battery pack go? And it goes on the bottom in between this ring. This ring is a mold that I got from Two Chicks Art. She has several different sizes. She does have a size chart for hog tumblers if you guys use those. Or you can just measure the bottom of your tumbler and see which size will fit best. This one that I'm using for the 20 ounce, um, I actually stretched it a little bit when the epoxy was still um, kind of tacky and that worked fine as well. So what you're going to do is glue this ring to the very bottom of your tumbler and put your battery pack inside the ring. It fits great and you feed the fairy lights through the notch in the side. Um, so this way I really enjoy this way out of all the ways I've done lighted tumblers this one is the best because you don't have to have special cups on hand all the time you can use any cup that you want um, you also are not drilling into the tumbler itself which can break the seal or you do not have a tacky battery pack velcroed to the side so this one works really good I'm going to put her shop um, or her website in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to try these rings out. After the ring is dry on the very bottom of the tumbler, you're going to prep it and paint it. Um, I typically match my paint colors to my glitter colors. I'm just using white glitter today, so we spray painted it white. Then we're going to bring it back inside and feed the fairy lights through the notch in the ring and apply them to the cup. I like to use UV resin to apply the fairy lights just because it's really easy to use. You can hit it with a UV light and it will be dry in about 30 seconds. You don't have to wait for glue to dry or worrying about it smearing on the cup. You're also not going to have weird glue bumps or raised parts and the point of this tumbler is to try to get it as smooth as possible and UV resin seems to be the best option that I have found. So keep in mind if you do want to use UV resin, be sure to get a light that is at least 36 watts because that is what is required to properly cure the resin. So I just put a very thin layer of UV resin down and hit it with my light for about 30-40 seconds, just enough to hold it in place so we can move on to the next section. So you will see that even after we move on from the first section and we apply the second little dab of UV resin, the first part of UV resin is still getting hit with the light. So by the time we get done with one side of the tumbler, um, each little piece of UV resin will have gotten about three or four minutes of the UV light, which should be enough to cure it all the way. But if you feel any tacky parts when you're done, you can always go back and hit it with some more light. So when you're arranging your lights on your tumbler, you want to make sure that you aren't putting all your lights in one little area and then some areas aren't getting any lights. You want to make sure that they're evenly spaced out. And you want to make sure that when you go back later and actually apply or draw out your wires, that it will, you know, go in like a smooth motion. And you're not having to kind of force them to go together. 
So I just kind of looped them around a few times. That way I had space to apply the vinyl bulbs, apply the, you know, wires that I drew out. So everything flowed really nicely together. Now I did leave one section blank because I do not want any lights where I'm going to be applying my water slide because if I did, then I could not apply my bulbs without them overlapping the water slide. And that's just not what I wanted. I wanted a clean little area where I could apply my water slide. And this part is probably the most time consuming part. It took me about an hour to apply all these lights but you do want to make sure that everything is very, very smooth. Um, we don't want any bumps. We don't want any raised parts when we go to epoxy. We want everything nice and smooth. And this next part, after you apply your lights, I did not film. I do not have a really good setup right now where my turners are um, to actually set up my iPad to film anything so I'm just going to explain it to you guys the best I can while I'm applying the rest of these lights. So after you get your lights applied everything is held in place really good the wires are laid down really good we are going to take this to the turner and we are going to epoxy it two times that way it is really smooth. So you're basically going to be starting with a smooth tumbler before you even glitter or decorate it. Also, when you take it to your turner to epoxy, make sure that the battery pack is taped to the bottom securely. You don't want it just hanging and, um, you know, rotating with the turner because the wires will break off. Don't ask me how I know that. So once you epoxy two times and the tumbler is pretty smooth, then you can apply your glitter because this way you're not going to see the wires, you're not going to see the bulbs, there's not going to be raised bumpy parts through your glitter. It's going to be a smooth surface, which is what we want when we do lighted tumblers. You don't want wire showing, you don't want raised parts on the tumbler. That's just not something that you want to send out to your customers. You want to be able to send them the best quality that you can make. So after everything is cured, again, you're going to take it down to your turner and epoxy two times, apply your glitter, then epoxy again so everything is smooth for the water slide and the vinyl. And after the glitter is applied and it is epoxied, we are going to be ready for our next step. So after you epoxy two times, then glitter, then epoxy again, this is what your tumbler will look like. I did sand it down really, really good except for the spot where my water slide is going to go. That section is going to be smooth already because there are no wires in that section. So there's no need to really sand it. So I'm wetting the backing of the water slide. That's all you really need to do. Just wet the backing and it will start to come loose. I am turning on my lights so I can see where I'm going to put my vinyl bulbs. And then we are going to apply the water slide and then apply the vinyl bulbs. So when you apply your water slide, you want to make sure you get all the water out from underneath it. I just use um, the lint-free towels that I have. I get them in the automotive section at Walmart and just smooth out any water from underneath there. You don't want any air bubbles or anything like that when you go to, to do your final layer of epoxy. So once your water slide is free from any water, you can start to apply your bulbs. And I really just kind of 
applied the bulbs. Um, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. I just kind of put them up and down and around, um, just kind of, you know, making sure that there was room for me to connect the ends with the actual wires that I was going to draw. So I just kind of flipped them, flipped them up, flipped them down, flipped them around, you know, however you want to apply them. There's no, you know, right or wrong way how to do this. And I didn't film the last part because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. But to apply my actual wires, I ended up drawing them with a regular marker to see if I liked it. And then I went back and went over the regular marker with a paint pen. And then if there were any marker spots I needed to get rid of, I just went back with alcohol and removed the regular marker lines and then went back and touched up the paint pen lines if I needed to. But you can use vinyl or you can hand draw them if you want. But I think it turned out super cute. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.